Back in the 80s, a sci-fi movie came out and has become a pop culture ever since. A movie about a team of commandos hunted down by an extraterrestrial predator while they were on a mission in Central American jungle. But it wasn't the hero nor the predator that caught my attention. It was the way it stalks its prey through their body heat. That movie introduced a lot of people, including me, to thermal imaging technology. And three decades later, I decided to build one. Anytime. First is to 3D print a bracket. I'd like to keep this design as simple as possible, as I will be bringing this device in my adventures through the forests and wilderness here in the US. At the heart of it all is a thermal imaging camera by FLIR which detects infrared energy also known as heat signature emitted by objects. I have to admit this camera doesn't come cheap, but I happen to own one. Once you snap in the interface, it turns this camera basically into a webcam. You didn't plug the cable and connect the other end to a laptop. To make full use of its feature, you need to download and use the FLIR Boson app. With this app, you will be able to access the different cameras attached to your computer, including the built-in camera, as shown. But once you select the FLIR video, you'll be able to access the thermal camera. Also once you select the COM port it is connected to, you'll have access to the different color modes to your liking. But bringing a laptop in the wilderness is cumbersome, so I have to try something else. So I attach the camera to the 3D printed bracket with four screws. I then shortened the cable just enough for what is required. Chasing stars and holding you. And then plug it back to the camera. I bought this cheap phone tripod mount from Amazon and attached it to the assembly. And tighten the two screws. I've then used my Android phone instead of the laptop. I could 3D print a handle but use this old mini tripod instead that has been gathering dust in my drawer. Now for this to work, it needs an OTG cable. 
OTG cables enables the phone to act as the host computer and whatever attaches to it becomes a peripheral. I also downloaded a USB camera app from Google Play which detects the camera right away once plugged in. It doesn't have the color mode feature but it's just enough to use the thermal camera. And now to actually test it. As previously mentioned in my other videos, my other passion is backpacking. You can watch my backpacking videos in my other channel, First Hand Explore. So after flying to Utah and driving to Wyoming, we backpacked into the wilderness. I then turned on the device when it was pitch black outside to see the wildlife in the area. I managed to see a baby deer just a few feet from our tent. And on a grassy field adjacent to the lake, a deer-like figure feeding on the vegetation. I was able to stalk this wildlife at night without even scaring them off. I also brought it on our other camping adventures and able to see critters lurking around our campsite at night. So if you like this video and would like to support the channel, please like, subscribe, and check my other videos as well. Thank you guys for watching.